Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of the Spongebob movie game. Last time we beat the desert stage, so now we're in the tub slide level. So uh, let's do this. This is a continuation of the um, slide levels from Battle for Bikini Bottom, which... As you know, apart from Sand Mountain, I really liked those sections. But, you know, so the slide is the whole level, much like Sand Mountain, except in this game, they do it right. Mostly. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? I take that back. You know, on, on recent memory, actually, they are the worst levels in the game, actually. <laughs> it's not because they're bad. They're fun. Like, I love the slide mechanics. Just the slide levels can be super aggravating at times. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh no, oh no. Bonk. Well, that's fair. Just give the player, I don't know, five seconds to know what to do before just dropping some fucking sand on their head. Alright, there we go. I could have grabbed that, but whatever. Oh, their health is total. It's really weird. I upped both their health. Or did I up neither of their health? I guess because it's them combined, or they're in the... I don't know how I lost my Spongebob health upgrade from last video. I thought I gave it to them, though. Dooch. Yeah, some sound effects they reuse from Battle for Bikini Bottom, but... Right, probably a lot of sound effects they reuse. But, you know. I wouldn't expect the... Dooch sound effect to be one of them. Oh god damn it. Oh my god. Cause look at how little room you get. But honestly I think I do prefer the um this game's uh, slide theme over Battle for Bikini Bottoms, but you know, that's more of a preference thing. Ooch. I oh oh no oh please no no I hate this area. It gets t it gets like ten times worse when you incorporate a time trial into these areas. And no, I'm not joking. They do have time trials in these areas. Which are a lot more maze-like. Okay, now this area is the worst. Those boxes make you want to go over there. But if you don't get it the right way, you'll just immediately send yourself down there. Alright, whatever. Shut up, Mindy. So after doing stupid shit for like several hours. So anyway, they're like, we, we can't do anything. But whatever, bubble blowing baby hunt. Which I'm pretty sure they teach you the, uh, either the, um, I guess it's the bubble bowl? What, what do they teach you here? 
I know. But you're gonna force me in and let him move. Oh, it's a Patrick slam. Okay. Alright. I'm not doing this. The paddy wagon is parked outside, but you'll need to get the key back to use it. That doesn't sound fun. You'll probably have to. Yeah, oh, by the way, guess what? It's not just that. You also. Alright, so now we have the, um, Patrick slam attack. Okay, I do have four hearts. Thank God. How do you... Oh. You have to use the B button. I thought it was X. I thought it was mapped to X, like the last game. Yeah, and I realized that, um, Patrick's, uh... Patrick did steal SpongeBob's spin attack. Oh, whatever. I'm glad they just recycle most of the same enemies over and over. Button, I'm gonna... Blurp! I'm gonna blurp that. Blurp! I don't know if I missed anything. Alright, I guess I'll tell a funny story then. Um, I played this game on Nintendo the first time, and... Uh, Oh, it's mapped to R. Okay. Alright, whatever. Okay. I almost killed myself, but I didn't. Alright, uh, how are they gonna hurt me here? Like that. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay, there we go. What is up with the camera? Alright, whatever. Okay, so 9,000. It's over 9... Th no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. So was it Y? Okay, you grapple on these things with Y. Bloop, bloop central. I, I don't have very much commentary, I'm sorry. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, the Nintendo story, right. So I was playing this game on Nintendo. Nintendo. <clears throat> which is a, a GameCube emulator for your Wii U that you can use pretty much as a workaround to, uh, for uh, actually playing a Wii game. So, well, basically it just, it allows you to do that. But anyway, I was playing it but then, for some odd reason, when I was playing the game, 
Um, I was in one of the menus. I don't know if it's because I was looking at it extra or what, but for some reason, um, Mr. Krabs kept saying it, me first, over and over and over. <laughs> so I was like, what? I, I don't know what to make of this. Oh, cool. Turns out, um, the game had f crashed on me. I think it was even during this level, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, okay. So, uh, remember these things from the Marmalayer? <laughs> they're back now. And you know what? They're, they're still fucking obnoxious. Okay, oh god. Nooch! Okay, there you go. Alright. Oh! Sorry, Patrick. I don't know how to frig frag to get through your stupid... Come on, come the fuck. God! Just getting knocked around by these gosh dang stupid d disco pads. Okay, there we go. There, got the Gooby Goober token. The more of these I can grab during a level, you know, I'll be perfectly fine with. Okay, so we have 12 now. Whoop. I want to fall, but at the same time, I don't want to. Alright, there's a way to get back. Alright, I may as well just fight. I may as well just fight the enemies down here so I can get the, um, pickup. So I can get some more of these coins. Whoop. <laughs> just so I can get upgraded stuff. Well, except for the, um, SpongeBob Shore, you can, like, nobody needs that. Whoop. So I don't know if you fight the uh, ice cream lady after this or Dennis. I'm pretty sure that's the ice cream lady. Oh shit. And then after that, would that be... I don't know when you would face Dennis for the first time. I don't even think you fight Dennis up until you get him on um, David Hasselhoff. Well, that's just for, well, that's just amazing. Uber cartwheel. Oh, I actually could do that. Or, okay, uh, that's combat arena challenge. All right, well, this is gonna take seven years to get through. I'm already 13 minutes in. Fantastic. Yeah, this episode has been very lacking in commentary, but you know, whatever. Boing, 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 boing. All right, there we go. So this is gonna be the punk. Never mind. It's gonna be the um. It's gonna be enemies from the later levels. Why? Okay, well, uh, number one, I'm about to die. Which is, uh... Which is a good thing or not, depending on how you want to see me play video games. It's like... It's like my audience is very... It's like, I feel like a lot of you guys just... You like me playing games, but at the same time, you mostly like watching me suffer at games. I don't get it. <laughs> you know what, actually, you know what? Screw it, I might actually get it. It's just, I don't really understand the logic. You know? I mean, I kinda do. But I regret it. I don't get it. I regret it. <laughs> okay, there you go. Stop laughing at me. All these fools gotta stop laughing at me. Cool. Yeah, cool. No! No! God! Getting hurt left and right.
All right, here we go. Just one more of these dudes. Pew! Give you. Nope. Okay. Or not. Scoop. What the fuck? Oh my god! I can't. I can't hit this guy. Fuck you. All right, there you go. But there you go. Are you ready, kids? Set. Go. I could upgrade my stuff here, but you know, whatever. Actually, you know what I realized? They might actually just force me to get that upgraded uh, cart wheat, uh, uppercut attack. Now that I think about it, they might end up forcing you to get that. I'm about to die. Alright, there's one more enemy. It's one of those shooters. Oh, he's right here. No! I grabbed the Krabby Patty! Aw, oh, fuck this shit, man! Come on! That is straight bullshit. That is straight fucking bullshit. Really? Couldn't they just spawn me at that wave? No, you gotta do the whole challenge again. The whole thing. Fuck it, there, there's no reason. There's no reason to get any of the freaking weapon upgrades now. Because here's the thing, they fucking... Okay, you know what I'm about to get this? You know what I'm gonna do? Um... I don't know if I wanna put it in health. Let's put it in a stupid bash. I might as well get the explodey bash. And then... And then, then uh, give it to Patrick's cartwheel, the next one. And then the next two will be the, uh, the healths. And then I'll see, you know, depends on how it rolls. I'll get more health. God, I hate these enemies. It's like, I mean, the enemies in Battle for Bikini Bottom aggravated me sometimes, but, like, nothing like this. Like, like these enemies straight piss me off. I guess I should spend my upgrades at the end of their rotation. Alright. I don't care anymore, I just need to get to the next wave. God, I can't. The problem with that bash, though, is that its hitbox is so precise. Where, where the where the fuck where are you? Okay there. So SpongeBob's powers left are the um bubble bowl and the um and the sonic guitar, which is basically the cruise bubble. So a bowling ball and the sonic guitar, and then Patrick's are I don't remember Patrick's next two upgrades. I just remember them being really vague. A seaworthy smash? I don't, I don't know about being seaworthy. Really. 
Oh god, please. No, no, no. No. Give me that. Where the fuck? I can't. This is pure chaos. So basically, these are chompers from Battle for Bikini Bottom, and then the other guys are essentially chucks. Or actually, no, they're fucking slicks. They're slicks in the air. They're a fusion between monsoons and slicks. But guess what? And those, those enemies in Battle for Bikini Bottom, I didn't like them. But somehow in this game, I think they made them worse! Because it seems like I always get hurt by these dudes, no matter what. Okay, there. It's over. Wave fucking three. Ugh. There we go. Goofy goober token. That took me almost... Like, it took me over five minutes to finish. Because I got all the way to the end... Die. I died, and then I had to do it all again. <sighs> okay, whatever. I don't care. I beat the challenge, so... Doesn't really concern me. Anyway, next time on the Spongebob Movie Game, we are going to be finishing up the rest of this level and maybe tackling the first boss. No, it's driving stage. Okay, okay, so it is the ice cream chick. So, yeah, we'll tackle the next driving stage and the ice cream lady. So, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.